Okay, for those of you who want to make a Laguna type table, this is what I did. First thing I did was decide where I want to put it and check the measurements. And you have to sit down and hold something above your lap to figure out if it's comfortable or not. Um, okay, so the first thing I did was I bought a PVC pipe, a little bit si larger than the pipe I was going to get, and I fastened it to the to the uh, side here. Okay, then I went and I bought a square about the size that I wanted it to be. I bought this flange that fit in the pipe I was going to get. This flange, this elbow, here's the flange and the uh, elbow that fits it. This side is a male and this side is a female. Then I have the length here and then I have a female to female uh, elbow and then another piece here. And it's so, so simple. And so, well, it could have been cheaper. I used uh, uh, steel and then I spray painted it black. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, so it would match my bus. So when you stick it in the pipe here, you can take it in and out of the pipe. You can adjust it here. You can spin it and turn it and you can adjust it here and you can here. So let me put it in, see if I can do this. I might have to pause this a second. Okay, so I put it in my pipe right there and it swivels like this and we're on a slant right now so it's not very convenient and we gotta also uh, I'm gonna stain and polyurethane this and you can see here it's coming through a little bit but um, when I can get thicker wood I probably will but this is about the size I like so if I sit here on this uh, little bench I can use it as a desk but what I, the way I like to use it is I like to swivel it around here let me move my pillows and I kind of have to pull it back a little bit because it's a little bit big. But I swivel it around here. Ugh. Sometimes I have to go the other way. It's hard to, you got to twist it right. I should probably put, put down my phone to do this. Let me twist this here. I don't have it too tight. Hang on, sorry. <laughs> Hold on a Okay, I'm back. Uh, this here it's too tight and this you can turn so I turn it like this turn it like that and get it right there I'd like to put a hook right there so I sit right there when I'm not on a slant when a lot of times you're going to be on a slant so I want to put a little hook right there or something to help hold it there so you can see I can sit there and do whatever I can swing this out here and down like this let me move back so while I'm cooking, I can bring that straight out and use that as a uh, place to store whatever it is I'm cooking. Or I can bring it right here and we can play cards between the two of us. Now the thing that I'm having a problem with, I have to shove something down here in order to make it not so free to swing when we're on a slant. And also have a piece of wood down here that listed about this high and what I want to do eventually is drill holes through here like at different levels that we like and then put a pin in here that will raise or lower the height of the table so you got different positions you got this thing the board the actual tabletop that will rotate and it will go this way that way and then it'll swing also swing you can swing it around this way so there's, so there's lots of different positions that you can do this and use this. It's, it's really awesome. It's really great. I want to make one up here uh, in the front. I'm thinking of making one. But this is our bus so you can take a peek. This is show you real quick what we did here. We're going to have a, a lot more stuff hanging. This here is a little table. Friend gave me a little storage center. And then we have another same friend gave me the, another friend gave me that stuff and then we have the inside of our shower up here which we're just going to put a shower curtain around it or either stain the wood my husband's going to make his vocal booth in here and it's also going to be the bathroom and the shower so we got a little mirror on the wall there and then we have our kitchen I'm going to hang uh, the wood stove is actually this comes out to here and the wood stove is going to eventually be on that. There's our stove and we're 
possibly are going to buy a little thing where you have a, the stove, the refrigerator, and the sink all in one unit. And then our shelves up here. So this is going to change again, and we're going to have more counter space. And our uh, couch, which converts to, uh, if you look, let me move this. If you look under here, there's a board. This lifts up. This comes up. This comes up and lifts up and hooks right in here and makes a dinette table. So we can use it as a couch to sleep on, a dinette table or a bed or a couch. And then you add this in. And like I said, you just pull that right out and uh, it's out of the way. And then this thing here, this moves. We can move it wherever we want. Then we have curtains on the bed. We'll probably eventually have a door to keep our cats in there from freaking out when people come by because our one cat's kind of shy. And when we travel, the reason we have this bus is because we want to um, not worry about our neighbors having to come take care of our dogs and cats. We want to take them with us. Okay, I have a curtain back here and a little shoe holder I staple to the roof. Uh, and uh, this curtain's a, these curtains here are going to go up here in the next couple of days. I just get lazy. I haven't done it yet. There's going to be a shelf going all the way across here. No shelf here unless I can figure out how to tuck Alan into doing a temporary one because we want to be able to sit here, open the door, and eat or look out uh, at our campsites. And then that box right there is for my phone or whatever I'm using at night. Tissues, chapstick, all that stuff. And then over here is going to be the the um solar all the solar uh you can't see it i guess all of the solar uh information and one of the neat things that my husband did that's really cool is these buttons here he took these buttons that were on the swinging door to open and he put them there and took, so we have all the space. And the other really, really cool thing he did was this door. Let me show you this awesome door here. It's all one, it opens all one. He put a track thing there and one up there, one down there. So he made it really cool. And please excuse our mess around our house during this time where people are going to go into confinement and we might have martial law uh, while the rests are made to the corrupt government and celebrities and so on we're going to use this time anyway i am to clean up this mess around the house so we're working on cleaning it all up so there you have it um I, this seat i would like to have on a swivel it's uh sort of a waste of space i think turned this way i wanted it to go there but my husband doesn't want it there uh even if we put like a little stilts there but it's here and i would like it on a swivel we also lay down a platform right here when we're not driving and it expands this all the way out to the door where the dogs can lay on a carpet that we put down there when we travel. And we got some hangers here. Oh, we also have this really cool compartment right here. I wish I had longer arms so you could see. Alan is so resourceful and creative. As long as he doesn't get into the perfection state where he has to make everything perfect. See, this is a really cool, above the compartment there, above the door, he did that. So I think that's, that's really cool. Here we're going to have a shelf, and Grandma gave us a cuckoo clock. We're going to put a cuckoo clock right there and put the shelf, like, around it. It's, it'll be really pretty. And we also have, um, right here, we have, like, a garment holder or whatever, and then we have all of our... Our window covers that insulation covers there and there and while we're driving we have you know all this stuff accessible to us look we have paper towels <laughs> um, okay so let's see how cold it is in here hmm um, anyway just wanted to share all that with you but that's how you make a Laguna table and a whole lot more on our absolutely gorgeous beautiful bus um, that I can't wait to take a bunch of places when this coronavirus stuff dies down. Be blessed and be safe. Talk to you later.